some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we join the live stream of a YouTube law expert called Wandering Rebel Investigations. And as an esteemed YouTube law expert, he just can't seem to get anything right. What you are about to see is a supreme example of the Dunning-Kruger effect. So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Oh, by the way, in the side chat, he was trying to argue with some people, so I provide that little experience right there to add it to the flavor of the video. So these guys ran somebody's registration to find out that the registered driver was uh, license suspended and used that as justification to pull these guys over. Oh, by the way, you can blame the bad sound quality on, of the video on this guy. I guess he needs to have a new camera or something. And now they've got four units. Hey, quick question for you guys. Oh, I'm holding the police accountable. I heard him saying that they, did they run the plates to find out that the owner doesn't have a valid license? That's illegal. They're only allowed to run those plates if they have a traffic violation. So if they did that, that's an illegal search and seizure and everybody Everything they find from that point on is fruit of the poisonous tree. Well, you certainly need to read up on everything so far, especially fruit of the po poisonous tree. There are exceptions to that uh, little doctrine right there, especially on number two right there, where the discovery would be inevitable anyway. So if the owner didn't have a valid license anyway, that would be an inevitable discovery on any situation. So do a little bit more research on what concepts you're trying to use and if there are any exceptions to the rules. I mean, come on, dude. So yeah, yeah if, <laughs> they ain't allowed to just randomly run plates. They have to have a lawful reason to. Oh. So you need to find out if they had a lawful justification to run those plates. Not allowed to randomly run plates. They have to have a traffic violation or a law violation in order to run the plate. And anything after that is fruit of the poisonous tree. Meaning all the guns, everything I heard them say is now illegal for them to use if the traffic stop was invalid. And they had no justification for it. That's why I come out doing what I do so I can help citizens not get screwed by them that's how they screw citizens is people don't understand it oh no i was alley when they pulled them over and i came walking down the sidewalk and i heard them as i was walking up oh no i uh i do um Don Larson Jr. thinks that they are allowed to randomly run plates. Supreme Court has already ruled. That's a Fourth Amendment violation without a traffic violation or a law violation. Citation, 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 needed. citation needed. Citation fucking needed. Provide a citation and some actual quotes 
rather than say the Supreme Court said this or the Supreme Court said that, because otherwise you're spouting off BS. And so far from what I've seen, uh, you are definitely spouting off BS. And that's why it's fruit of the poisonous tree, because they had no legal authority to run that plate unless they suspected the driver of doing something wrong. But yeah, I'd, I'd definitely suggest finding out what their lawful reason for running the plate to begin with was. Because if they had no traffic violation or a law violation, then yeah. <laughs> and I saw that truck drive by me. It There were no lights messed up on it. I saw it go past the alley. So I know at least that's not justification. They can't say no lights were messed up. Only thing they can possibly say is maybe no turn signal or didn't come to a complete stop maybe somewhere. But... So what you're saying here is that you don't know the exact circumstances of the stop. So therefore, you have no idea what you're talking about at this point. Point, so your opinion is invalid at this point because you have no idea of the context of the situation. Wow, you are real educated in this circumstance, aren't you? A little longer than a few minutes later. Well, Don Larson Jr., why don't you show me where in the law they are allowed to randomly run a citizen's plate that has done nothing illegal if you're so smart because I have seen numerous Supreme Court cases shown citation needed citation needed you know what? I can tell you're not a scholar of any kind because somebody who's been through the process of becoming a scholar will show, not only tell, because they will be able to provide links, citations, quotes, not out of context quotes, but something that can validate their claim. So, unless you can provide the citations for the cases you are talking about, you are full of it. That proves point for me. That they have to have a lawful reason to run a license plate. Just like they have, a, have to have a lawful reason to detain you or demand any personal information. And Joe Cool, I understand, yes, they still do run plates randomly, though it's illegal, and they are not supposed to do it. That does not make it right. Again, Don Larson, you are on my channel trying to tell me I am wrong. Instead of being a troll. I know. Yes. To run a plate, they still have to have a lawful reason and it's the same essential standard for attainment 
you know what? I think we all get the point that this guy is a bloody moron. So I'm just going to end the video right here because he'll go on for another 20 minutes on this very same topic, running in circles, trying to convince everybody on his chat that he is right. He provides no citations. He provides no evidence for any of his claims. He is proud of his half-assed knowledge of legal doctrines such as fruit of the poisonous tree, and he continues to use it throughout the entire video. So, don't listen to this guy for any legal advice. It will be just like listening to Chile de Castro. You'll end up in deeper trouble.